Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Ashana B and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a pampering day. You guys know most of my vlogs are like self-care pampering type vlogs and my son is at school right now. It's Friday so I need some deep pampering before the weekend starts. So today's video is kind of going to kind of be like a get ready with me but homebody version because <laughs> I'm not going over you guys but I do want to kind of style my locks up. I just did a retwist, so I want to kind of style them up. Um, I want to do makeup, skincare, just the whole nine yards, putting on a cute, cozy little outfit to walk around the house with and just feel really, really good and pretty. So, so I got me a bath going, you guys. It's about 9.40ish going on 10 a.m. And this is how I want to start my day, just relaxing with the bath. I went to the gym yesterday, so I'm pretty sore as well, but I'm using the Dove Bubble Bath um, pampering care in the scent coconut and coca and this is my second time using this it smells pretty good so i'm gonna use it again all right you guys so i am out the tub i feel really really good and refreshed to start off my day um uh, i did put my hair up in this little whatever you want to call it while i was sitting in the tub but i want to show you guys the body products that i used all right so when i got out of the shower the first product i went in with is my necessary body serum you guys know i love this this is my second bottle and i'm almost out it's really good for just adding an extra layer of hydration to your body and then i went in with the k-skin body cream I think I'm gonna repurchase this. It's so thick, it's so creamy, it smells so good. It has good ingredients like sea moss. And y'all, I cut that thing open. I cut that thing open and I'm gonna keep this in until I'm fully out of it. Um, and then I also went in with the Necessary Deodorant Gel. It's only halfway gone, but I feel like I go through this like crazy. It's the only aluminum free deodorant that doesn't make me smell. I've literally been using this probably the half of 2022 <laughs> up until now, you guys. It's literally so, so good. And then lastly, since the menstrual is here, I go in with the Cloud 9 Oil Blend from Bloom. This just has like a lot of different essential oils mixed in together to help ease like cramping pains or anything like that. I typically put it here on this little area and then like the sides of my stomach. I don't put it close to the vajayjay because you don't want that, okay? You don't want that, but yeah. That's the body products that I use, you guys. Right, so for fragrance, I'm gonna use this Nest sample size. I got this from my Sephora Birthday Gift 2022. Came with um, um, this, another small sample perfume, and then a small, tiny little cam candle for the VIB members. But I have yet to use this, and so I just wanna see how it wears. It smells really good but I haven't like worn it yet. So I know y'all say not to do that, but I do it anyway. I don't really add fragrance to my skin, but the type of shirt I have on is like, you really don't have a choice, but I just add it on my clothing, just everywhere. Yeah, well, I think I'm gonna get started on my hair first. I just don't know like the hairstyle that I wanna do today. I'm not for sure. I've been enjoying wearing my locks. Down, especially since I just retwisted it because the length is giving. It's giving. But I feel like I want to try something new. I need to buy me some claw clips because I see this girl that's locked. Her name is Taven. I think she's like a locked um, model. And she usually like puts it back like this, but then puts like a claw clip here for it to stand up. And I'm going to try that. So I need to give me some claw clips. But let me brainstorm and see what kind of hairstyle I want to do. All right, y'all. So this is how we're looking. I put the top, like half of the top in the ponytail. The back is like down. And I got this out. I think it look cute like this. But I know me, I get irritated quick. So I'm trying to decide if I want to leave it like this. Or do like a little swoop bang thing going. So let me decide again. And I'll be back. All right, you guys, so this is how we are looking. And I've been recording on my back camera lately because I feel like it just comes out more sharp. So let me know how you guys are liking that. But I did the little swoop. I did my edges. I'm finna get ready to tie my edges up before they curl. And then we're gonna get into some skincare before I do a little bit of makeup. This is how we are looking. I tried to push it like back some, that way it's pushing my locks back a little bit, but we're gonna get into the skincare part. So for cleanser, you guys already know, 
I'm using my to the People Cleanser. And I'm going to be looking in the um, mirror a little bit throughout this to make sure I'm doing my steps right. But we're going to go in, go in with the cleanser first. Make sure that you wash your hands, okay? So I did go in, you guys, and fix my brows up a little bit. Like, tweeze them a little bit. Not too much, but this is how the lather is looking. I have to add more water because, <laughs> yeah, it was looking a little crazy at first. Next, we're going to go in with the Laneige Milky Toner. This is the Cream Skin Moisturizing Toner, you guys. I'm really been liking this, and I love the packaging as well, but it looks like really, really milky. Oh, I'm dropping it. <laughs> really, really milky, you guys. It's very hydrating. Mm -hmm. The base for today's makeup look is going to be so flawless. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. The next up, I'm going in with Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. This gives the skin a really nice glow. And I want my makeup to be, I want my skin to be really like glowy under my makeup to where it gives me like, I don't know, like a natural look or as natural as it can look. So yeah. So this is how the skin is looking. I hope my camera is taking this like very well. And then lastly, we're gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. <laughs> Y'all, this moisturizer is so freaking creamy, like so creamy. It smells so good. Mm-hmm. Next, I'm going in with the Peace Out Skincare Instant Pore Perfector. You can use this to just blow out your pores like regularly, regularly without makeup, or you can do it with makeup as a primer. I'm using it as a primer to dim down the glow a little bit to where it's going to still be glowy, but not too much. And this is really, really good as a primer. It does have a real funny smell though. All right, so I went in with my Pure Arch Nemesis Brow Pencil. It's double-sided. I went in with the light, thicker side um, and did my brows already, you guys. This is the shade Dark Brown, I believe. It's the shade Dark, but I did my brows already. So I filled in my brows. Well, not filled in my brows, but cleaned my brows up using the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 410, you guys. And then I'm just going to set my face with the MAC Fix Plug Setting Spray before I go into anything else. Right, so I used a sponge to blend out the concealer here. And I'm just go, going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Mega Bronzer in the shade 021. And this is really all I use, like basically as the eyeshadow to kind of give me that natural look. I really, I'm really not into eyeshadow colors like that. I'll use like a green or orange here and there, but for the most part, it's this bronzer. And you see like this eye compared to that eye, it just make it look a little bit more bronzy and better. So now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Ease Drop Skin Tint in the shade 20. Y'all know I don't wear foundation. Well, I guess they do consider this kind of like a foundation, but I wear tinted moisturizers. They look like skin. They look natural. Um, they have less coverage. This is a medium coverage foundation, and I really don't like like full coverage. So yeah, so that foundation is blended out, or tinted moisturizer is blended out, you guys. And I'm gonna go in with my um, brightening concealer and my Fenty concealer. Again, that's the shade 410. And the F Camel concealer, I wear shade medium beige. And I usually go in with this first and then um, I go blend this out, go in and use this one. But I'm actually going to use them both today and then blend it all out at the same time. This is how it's looking right now. I have the um, elf up top and then a little bit of the Fenty here and a little bit of the Fenty here. As well as a little bit of our gel on. I really don't like putting a lot because my face already is like naturally... I don't know how to say I'll have like a natural contour like my face is strong in some areas so I don't really like to mess with the jawline a lot but yeah I only put a little bit concealer because I want like a minimalist look today so I'm gonna let this dry down 
for a few minutes and then I'm gonna clean it out. So this is how it's looking. Very much natural to me. Y'all see like the jawline there, but not too much. And then I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush and use like the leftover foundation to blend the lines of the concealer and the foundation. So there's no harsh lines. Now I went in with my setting powder on this eye. I've used a tiny sponge for um, setting powder as well because I don't bake and I don't want it to like spread out in a large area. I just need to set in one little area. So yeah, I put it in that area where I use, on the side that I use the concealer, you guys, because I want the powder to come out like close to my skin tone. Sometimes that helps, sometimes it doesn't. So yeah, just kind of blend everything out. And then for this one, I'm gonna go in with a bigger sponge. And I always set my eyes before I do like my contour and my mouth and stuff. Y'all, so I heard this makeup artist say to, um, sometimes when we use like bronzers, sometimes we go too dark for the nose contour and you should go like in between or closer to your skin tone. So I'm gonna use this one today for my nose contour and also use, do the contour first because I usually do like my highlight first, then my, contour so i'm gonna use this first to contour my nose and see if that helps i definitely feel like it gave me a little scope without being too dark so i'm probably going to start using this for my contour more depending on how it comes out looking towards the end you guys so i went in with my highlight i used both the elf camel concealer and the fenty i layered the fenty one first and stuff that's the darkest and then i put a little bit of the elf on the top for a brighter look now i'm going to um why am I adding setting spray to my sponge? I usually add it to blend um, instead of water, but I'm going to powder the other areas of my face while I'm waiting on the contour to dry down a little bit. And then I'll add my other contour. I know it's kind of like backwards, it may seem, but I just do what works for my face, my face shape, so yeah and i don't really let stuff bake and sit i immediately immediately blend i blended the nose highlight and it looks really good i'm really trying to learn how to use my back camera y'all but um i'm just going to set it so i went ahead and set my face again and i'm gonna go in with one of my favorite blushes this is uh the shade mood from merit beauty they literally have some of the best blush to me i'm using my real techniques blush brush I'm trying to make sure i like cover that thing and it's kind of like a really pretty dark red blush next i'm going in with merit beauty as well this is their highlight balm in the shade bounce and I just use my fingers for this and kind of, oh, that's a lot, kind of dab it in the areas that I want it to go. And it blends out and looks really, really natural on the skin. I also add it to my nose, my cheek, a little bit above my brow, and then a little bit right there. I'm going in with a little bit of my Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. This is the shade Chocolate. And I mainly, I put it on a uh, beauty blender, on a sponge. And I mainly like put it because I wear my scarves when I do my makeup. And so I don't want it to look like my skin still like under the scarf, but you know, the rest of the face has makeup. Cause then it's gonna come out on my photos weird. So I just press that bronzer in there and do like a light dab of it. Yeah. For lip liner, I use my NYX Sway Lip Liner in a shade Club Hopper. It's a dark brown liner, but it has like a red tint to it. And then lipstick, I'm going to use my NARS Air Matte Liquid Lipstick in a shade Shag. Sorry, I'm just giving up my words. Um, gloss, I'm going to use NYX Lingerie Gloss in a shade Shag. It's the perfect nude. And I think this is discontinued. I haven't been able to find it for an entire year. I didn't ran it to the ground, y'all. It has like cracks in it. But we're gonna make it work, okay? All right, you guys. So this is how it's looking with the lipstick and gloss added. And then I'm gonna go in with my Sephora gloss in the shade. This is the colorful gloss bomb in the shade. I can't find a shade name. 
Mm, that's weird. It's a orange shade, though, you guys, like a shimmery orange. And I'm gonna put that right on the top. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so I went ahead and set my face one more time. I set my face a lot when I'm doing my makeup because I need it to hold, okay? Um, and then I went in with my Dior, what is it called? Dior Backstage, I think, mascara in the mini size. And I used two layers on the top lash and two layers on the bottom lash. This gives a really full look. But this is how we are looking towards the end. Very, very pretty natural. I'm probably gonna throw on some jewelry and um, take some pictures, you guys. But yes, you guys, that's the end of this video. I feel so good. I feel so pretty. I feel so clean and just, uh, I feel great. I'm prepared for the busy, chaotic weekend that I know I'm about to have. But thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And you go with that. Peace out, y'all. I wanted to show you guys up close and personal how it looks with natural light in my skin looks good. The base looks good. The foundation looks good. Everything looks really, really nice. But thank you guys for tuning in.